Maintaining confidentiality is of utmost importance for any patient undergoing a medical procedure. In the case of President Gengok, however, he chose to share his journey with the Namibian people when a mild aortic condition was detected and successfully treated in South Africa. Upon his return to Namibia, he was greeted by a jubilant crowd of well-wishers, both at the airport and his family home in Ventuk. Thank you very much. It was really a surprise. You see, not a crowd, but a lot of people at the airport. Just a short notice of an organization. So that shows love, you are showing concern you have mm. had, but everything went well. President Gengob's choice to publicly disclose his health information has generated significant interest and attention, not just in Namibia. He stands as a unique example among the sitting leaders, as he also chose openly to share his experience with contracting COVID-19, along with his wife and several cabinet ministers in 2021. You are, all here. you are all here, and really the president is so transparent. <laughs> I don't know anybody else who could be so transparent. I am a very <laughs> complicated person. <laughs> half teacher, half policeman, uh, half soldier. <laughs> Uh, I will not tell you all the things. <laughs> In a light-hearted manner, the president playfully teased his counterparts regarding their approach to health transparency. Now, it's caused a little problem for my counterparts. They're saying, here is the president announcing his what is the secrecy you guys are right? <laughs> So I'm sorry if I got trouble for somebody. But uh, this is my nature. So yeah, now I announce everything. Uh, so it should be that way. The Gengo family are grateful for the support they received throughout. And uh, I think even the people in Trinidad, even the staff members who work in this house, Christine, Lady, and all of them who are standing there. I could see they were concerned, and uh, I can see how happy they were to see him, and even the team that we were with. All of them were asking, house president, house president, the SMSs, the phone calls, uh, were incredible. Blanche Corres' NBC News.